Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much. Yes, there's been like a, 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 an idiotic giggle to this whole show, but that's just us dealing with life, okay? Because on a Monday morning, life is hectic and intense. Yeah, it does. If we're going to hit stage eight, which we are not hitting today just yet, but we need to get cozy. You need a cuddle buddy, okay? And there is no feeling, better feeling, I think, than being warm and cozy with a hearty and healthy meal to keep those bodies healthy from the inside out. Now, mouth-watering red pepper, tomato and lamb knuckle stew is the ultimate hearty meal for winter and is brought to you by Carenza Paracy because we have loaded as much much vitamin C as we can, well, I say we. These ingredients that we are grouping together, our foodie team have done an amazing job, and this just speaks comfort. You could almost put this in a quilt and go to sleep next to it. I, think I just you pictured that. 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 <laughs> Sounds lovely, actually. But I gotta say, uh, kudos to the team exactly for doing that. I think this completely just complements Corinza's Paris right now, especially with the ingredients, the nutritional value we put into this, and a stew is just hearty, warm, Good food, right? Feeds the gut yeah, in the right man. way. So let's put some of that good energy right. in. You've got the blow by blow. So take yeah. me through where we've gotten to cool. and what I need to do. So where we've gotten with this recipe, what we started off with was our roasting. And we took a mm. tomato and a red pepper. Why? Not only just for good flavor, not only just good color, but again, loaded with vitamin C and some good nutrition in that. So you cut it into quarters, you let that roast for a bit, and we'll bring that into this recipe a little bit later on. So let's pretend we've already done that okay, step. Okay, so those are roasted. Voila. They've got that beautiful yes. flavor that comes from the roast. Then step two would have done our or lamb knuckle, right? So you don't have to necessarily use lamb knuckle, but lamb knuckle has great fat and good fats as well, which yeah. has like collagen in it and a lot of other like great stuff for the joints. Of course. And then obviously some good um, flavor to it as well. And then All protein. the flavor, yeah. So we're taking this, we add a little bit of flour to it, and then we just brown it in the pot. Okay. And we've already done that. We I'm browned it for a little bit, it. popped it straight back in here, and then voila, step two is done. And okay. now we're gonna move over to some of this plant-based nutritional value. So you've got some onions and garlic and bay leaves that you can start off with a veggie. Okay, so We've got the fats because we obviously browned yes. um, our, that's going to really sizzle, our knuckle in here. So we've got all that fat flavor yeah. there. It's yeah. caramelized onto our, our pot itself. So 100%. we want that flavor to kind of go all the way through. I'm cooking it quite hot and heavy because we don't have a huge amount of time. And but I know you always want that like TV sizzle. I know oh, you. For you're sure. going to make but the it's, people it's salivate. Deglazing? I don't know if that's a term. You uh, could uh, say uh, that uh, possibly. It kind of makes <laughs> sense to me. But you're literally taking all of that flavor, that advanced. Yeah complex flavor of the lamb and you're kind of transporting that into the fats. I love That's that. Exactly. Waste not, want not. Now, I love it. So you've got some bay leaves that you want to chuck in there, obviously, cool. get that flavor to be absorbed. Allah, chef, clear. Yeah, Allah. And then we've got some uh, carrots and celery. So again, some uh, well, carrots, beta carotene, I think, yeah, with the eyesight, sure. amongst many other things. Celery, uh, good fiber, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. And uh, obviously mixing that all up. And then together with that, we're obviously just going to add more flavor into this. We've got, yeah, throw some oil in. We've got some tomato paste, some lamb rub. So that's okay. like a little spicy concoction that you can mm. throw into that. And of course, we've mixed up some stock. So I'm just going to stir this for you just to make sure that it is all good. Oh, hoo -hoo. I'm just thinking the smell of that alone, the lamb knuckle added to the stock. This is stew. This is winter warming food right here. But there is something there really go. healthy about this kind of cooking. When it takes time to cook the food, that kind of energy, you're doing a lot of the work that your tummy would have to do yes. so that you can get the nutrients out of it. There is 100%. something really, really healthy about a slow cook. Absolutely. Yeah. When we talk about comfort food, there's a reason why it comforts us. Now, I think there is nothing like a healthy meal to pair with the perfect medication to combat colds and flus. Think of this as a system that you're trying to balance out. They say eating healthy foods fills your body with energy, and this is all the oh, right yeah. kind of energy, and the nutrients to build your immune system. So imagine your cells smiling back at you, saying, thank you, all of them together going, yay, Royal, thank you, yay, so cool. I can hear them right now getting excited. <laughs> Especially after that incredible workout we did with oh. Seb, the man's preparing for his Cape Town Marathon. It's amazing what he does with his body. And he does things like this. He fuels it correctly. And he does that so, so well. And that's something you can oh. do right now. You can get in on this. You can find this recipe and the inspiration. And oh, 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 let me tell you the flavors. Oh, um, it's when are we so going to put these puppies back yeah, in? Yeah, so this can go in right away, man. So oh. you're done with the stock. You can pop your peppers. You can pop the lamb knuckle into that. Let it all just uh, come together slower. The longer, the better, because that flavor just keeps getting better and better in the pot. And voila, oh. you that have looks... a winter warming sensation right there. 
One of the bay leaves is trying to escape. No, but we've got a job to play. This looks, and if you think of the complexity of the flavors that we built up here, so yeah. simply, but it's honor the food, honor that meat, honor the fats and the oh, integrity yes. of that meat, caramelize it so you can get that depth of flavor. But this is so simple and easy. Man, well I'm going to wrap it in a blanket well and put it in my, my duvet <laughs> and I'm going to just chill there tonight. Someone's called Absolutely Tim's on this, of course. Man. And Zanzi, you can get this recipe found at AxpressoShow.com. All the inspiration that you get and one for winter warming. And with that, we're going to warm up the rest of the show and official duties must commence. So you want to stand by with the latest. Hope you enjoyed. Bring your buckies. Nice Come job, on. man. <laughs> stand your best chance of beating colds and flu this winter and being one of two winners of 5,000 rands each with Corenza Paris C. To find out how the triple effect of Corenza Paris C makes it an essential on your shopping list this autumn and how you can win 5,000 rands in cash, catch Expresso from the 15th to the 18th of May and again the 22nd to the 25th of May and manage cold and flu symptoms this winter. Simply reply to the competition posts on the Expresso social media pages using hashtag Carenza Parisi and hashtag Beat Winter Flu. T's and C's apply.